Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get into the Word of God. This morning we're going to look at Hebrews chapter 12, and we are going to look at verse number 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I want to look at just the first part of this verse here. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. As Christians, we ought to always constantly be looking unto Jesus. There should be nowhere else, nothing else, nobody else that we should be looking to. Uh, our faith is in Christ, not only for salvation, uh, but even for the rest of our lives afterward. <clears throat> Excuse me, our our day to day, uh, you know, we should always be looking unto Jesus. Because first of all, Jesus is the author of of our faith. He the, the he is the originator of our faith, right? He is the uh, the, the sole uh, purpose, the writer of our faith, the creator of our faith. Um, because of what he did for us. Uh, first of all, he created us, right? He is the creator. Um, the Bible says that, that the word was there in the beginning and he is the word, uh, the word was made flesh, right? That's Jesus Christ. And, uh, he created us first of all. And then when we rebelled against him and we sinned against him, he came and he died on the cross for our sins. And three days later he rose again and he's still alive and he is he is the center of our faith and the author of our faith. But not only is he the author of our faith, but according to verse 2, he is also the finisher of our faith. Uh, and so not only is he the beginning of our faith and the, you know, the, the writer of our faith, the author of our faith, faith that we looked at, uh, but someday he is going to finish our faith, so to speak, um, when we no longer need faith to see him, when we can behold him with our own eyes, when we can see him and our faith has completely ended and we, we can now see our Savior and our Lord face to face. I mean, what an amazing day that's going to be. Uh, he is the author and the finisher of our faith. And so why shouldn't we be looking unto Jesus? I mean, what else is there to look unto? You know, that's going to be one of the biggest temptations of the devil is to get us to uh, be distracted and not look at Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, but look at something else. And I assure you, every time that happens, when we veer our focus away from Jesus and we, we, and we are no longer looking unto Jesus, but we're looking at something earthly, something down here, something, whatever, whatever it is that the devil, you know, puts in your way and, and blocks you uh, from seeing Christ. Whenever that happens, uh, you are going to have... Um, very, very negative repercussions from that. Uh, fear will begin to take over. Doubt will begin to take over. Uh, sometimes even anger will begin to take over. Uh, depression, you name it. All of those things begin to take over one's life. And yes, even a believer will begin to take over one's life when we start, or rather when we stop looking unto Jesus. And, you know, because... Again, our faith is, is rooted and centered in, in Christ. And so when we start to veer our, our view away from Christ, we are literally, we're, 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 we're losing our faith. We're giving up our faith. And the only thing left is whatever the devil has to offer. And let me tell you, none of it is ever good. Okay, so let's keep looking unto Jesus. And speaking of looking unto Jesus... It is Sunday. 
So please get ready for church. And for those of you who attend GLBC, we will see you in just a little bit. And uh, for those of you who attend another church, please be sure to attend church and listen to good preaching from the Word of God. And uh, we will see you tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Bye-bye.